This week, Mrs. S and her students created paper mache head seen around the school, and Harry Tricker explores a new classic myth elective available in the fall. These stories and more coming up on today's show. Good morning, Summit High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, here are your morning announcements. Good morning, Hilltoppers. Today is Friday, March 10th, and welcome back to Summit High School News. I'm Danny Sanchez. And I'm Seamus Brown. Congratulations to the boys and girls swim teams for competing at the Meet of Champions this past weekend. Sophomore Sydney Arcella was unstoppable, claiming the individual state title in both the 200 free and the 100 free. Great job by all. Any sophomore, junior, and senior student interested in applying for a position at the Flash Summer Program should submit their application by filling out the Flash 2023 Student Worker application by March 20th. You may know someone who works with the Summit First Aid Squad. Do you want to join? All sophomores and juniors are invited to apply to the Summit EMS Junior Program. Follow the QR code on the screen right now or click the link in the description below. As part of Miss S's Sculpture and Ceramics class, students have been hard at work in their paper mache self-portrait heads. <laughs> students constructed the heads using chicken wire, newspaper, and masking tape to create a form that fit their own heads. They used newspaper dipped in liquid starch to create the details and give the max rigidity and structure. Students then used paint to make the details. This week, they walked around the school in a parade to display their art. Great job. As we continue our look at some new courses for next year, Harry Tricker talks to Mr. Cummings to preview what the Classical Myth Elective will offer. I'm Mr. Cummings. I'm uh, one of the high school Latin teachers. They should expect to, um, to learn, obviously, the basics of the myths of the classical world, um, as well as some of the other myths associated with the classical world, such as the Egyptians, uh, Nordic myth and maybe a little bit of Gilgamesh, but we should also expect a little deeper than we do in, uh, in Latin classes um, in terms of like what are the types of myth out there. There's some that explain um, the natural world for the ancients like before they had science such as like where does the winter come from, what does it have to do with pomegranates, um, but also uh, myths that sort of describe the journey of a hero that explain our own journeys through our lives like how how are we like Perseus or Theseus or Proserpina? They should expect to learn uh, those types of things uh, and more, lots more actually. So what the Holocaust and Genocide Studies program is, is a course dedicated to studying genocide throughout history and genocide in the 21st century. We look, starting with the Holocaust and even prior to that, learning the difference between genocide, human rights violations, ethnic cleansing, war crimes, and everything of that nature. We end with 21st gen century genocide, looking at in Myanmar, and then what's also happening in Eastern Asia, looking at the Rohingya people and the Uyghurs. So it, we, we go through a giant scope of history. We look at a whole bunch of nations' histories, mainly because genocide is central to a nation's history, yet it's also very questioned. And we look at individuals who, such as Turkey, who denies the entire Armenian genocide. So the Holocaust and genocide programs, not just looking at the Holocaust, it's also looking at many different genocides and the histories of those nations and why individuals have committed these actions and atrocities and how to prevent these atrocities and actions from occurring again. With the conclusion of the spring musical, the advanced theater classes started preparing for the director's showcase. Five separate plays directed by selected students that anyone is allowed to audition for on Monday, March 20th. Please scan the code on screen now and fill out the interest form. And that concludes this week's news. Once again, I'm Seamus Brown. And I'm Danny Sanchez. Thank you for watching and enjoy your weekend.